Hey guys, I just want to hop on and um, I want to share one of my favorite parables with you, right? And this isn't about what, you know, what your religion is, right? Um, but just listen to it and I hope it adds value to you, right? Um, so there's this young, there's this individual, there's a man. Um, his house is flooding, right? He lives in a very small town. Um, and the town is under siege, water coming everywhere throughout the village. Everybody's escaping. And he decides to uh, get on the top of his roof. And in that moment, he decides he wants to start to pray to God. He says, God, please, I have more to give. I don't. I'm not ready to die. Can you please just help me? I pray to you every day. I just, but please just help me. Save me. Right? Rescue me from, from certain death. It says, Amen. Right? So, five minutes later, his neighbor says, Hey, I noticed. You're on top of your roof. Your 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 car, you know, is is underwater. But I got my pickup truck here. Hop in the car with me, and let's get out of here. He says, "No, God's gonna save me. I'm okay." He says, "All right." His neighbor leaves in the pickup truck. Five minutes later. The water continues to rise. It's now like on the second floor. He's still on his roof, but now he's on the second floor. The water has risen, I should say, to the second floor. And now more neighbors from across the street, they try to wait it out. They're like, mm, we can't wait this out anymore. They get in their boat, that little rowboat, say, Hop in. Let's go. We got to get out of here. He says, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm a man of faith. I know God's going to save me. He won't let me down. They row off to safety. Finally, 15 minutes goes by. The water is like up to his neck on top of the roof. I mean, it's, it's do or die time. It's do or time. Do or die, excuse me do or die time a helicopter comes they throw down the ladder the winds are blowing right the person in the helicopter they have their magna you know their megaphone and saying get in the whole town is evacuated you're the last one we came back for you get in climb the ladder He waves the helicopter away. No, go. God's gonna save me. Five minutes later, that man drowned. Sad story. I'm not, I, if you were expecting a, a good story, you would have, I, I, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but he, he died, but he goes to heaven. Right, goes to heaven and says, God, I prayed to you. I put all my faith in you. How come you didn't save me? And God said, well, what do you mean? I sent you a truck. I sent you a rowboat. I sent you a helicopter. What more could I have done for you? Right now, that's a bit extreme, but the moral of the story is this. And I really need you to understand this. A lot of you student athletes are are about that D1 or bust mentality, and I get it. I understand. I I played Division One football, and I remember when when I was 17 years old, 
you know, I had Division Three schools reaching out to me. I had Division Two schools reaching out to me. And I gave the D2 and the D3 schools absolutely no consideration. And I'm not saying this to brag, but I did have Division I opportunities, right? So I made mistakes by being closed-minded, but at least I did have Division I opportunities to choose from. Many of you, you have no Division I looks. Many of you don't even have Division II looks. And what you're doing is you are completely shutting yourself off from good Division Three programs or solid JUCO opportunities that can give you the assistance you need, right, while you continue to develop your game, right? So I just want to encourage you that don't get so caught up in the, the, the D1 mindset that you just completely neglect all these other opportunities that are coming your way, right? Don't be blinded by that. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you. I hope this story, I mean, my goal is always I just want to reach one, right? I just want to reach one person. I hope I want to change one person's way of thinking. And I, I want to change just one student athlete or even one parent because some of you parents you know, I'll be honest, you guys have that same mindset too. If my son or daughter doesn't go D1, then we're not going, then, you know, they're not going there. So really for all my families, don't have that, you know, mindset. You have a lot of blessings, right, that are coming your way that could open up incredible opportunities for you and you're completely just shutting the door on them. And I don't want that for you. So I hope this helps. I hope you can meditate on that. And uh, just remember that, you know, college recruiting starts with you. So what are you doing today to earn an athletic scholarship tomorrow? You guys have a good one.